I know how much you pride yourself on being there for everybody and how much you give to everybody and make an impact for people. So my message to everybody was share a memory that you guys have or an impact that she's had on your life. The goal was this to be for you to get your flowers while you can smell them. You see beauty and sophistication step into the scene. I don't, I don't know the rest of the words. Uh, Tangerine got a whole song and I don't, I just know that part. You have become like a sister to me. We are extremely close. We have a lot of discussions about, you're like, you like these, see? Look, I made a, listen, see? It's a little, it's a little bag of tangerines. See there, look at there. They're, they're good for you. And I think they're called cuties because you're cute, see? E exterior to protect yourself, but y'all soft in the middle. A boss ass bitch, bitch, bitch. You have so much personality, so where would I even begin? We used to go on these hikes, and you brought me to this mountain. I thought I was in really good shape. And then we started going up this mountain, and then we kept on going, and then we kept on going, and then, and then we got to the top, and I was cursing you out. Oh, uh, girl, I was cursing you out. You made me so mad. You was all in shape with your little vegan body and your little tight vegan stomach, and, and you were like, come on, let's go. Halfway there, all oh, chipper and perky. Like, I love you, but I hated you at the same time. Uh, another time we went hiking, you used, um, basically we use anything you can as a stripping pole. I remember you climbed up a stop sign pole and you were upside down. I just don't know how you did that to this day. I know how you did it. It's because you're amazing. And I'm so proud of you. I really am. I really am. But I'm not fuck with you in no mountains. Your energy is always consistent and upbeat every single time. Consistent, upbeat. You support your friends. You're quick with the info, but you keep it real too. You're very honest, you know, sometimes inappropriate with the jokes. Just that giving spirit, that, that positivity, that, that super support system. And I remember I used to come to you for like, yo, I would ask you about, you know, the Screen Actors Guild and how, how can I do this? How do I do that? And you were just quick, quick with the info, quick with the help. And stuff like that is appreciated and overlooked. And I we appreciate you out here, man. I saw you in some picture at a sex expo where you look like you was about to put a deal deal up your ooh, ooh. Like, whoa, Tangerine, what's going on? I actually admired that you're so real. You speak your mind and you are authentic. You are, I feel like you're living your best life right now. Yeah, look at these big old boobs in this thing. I don't know what's going on. This is a crazy ass angle. Oops. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Because if it wasn't for Tangerine, we would not have photos from so many events. Tangerine would pull 6,900 people together, organize them by height, right? And get these photos, and it ain't just one. It's, it's, it's never just it's one. Never just it's never just one photo. Just one. It's six photos you gotta get different angles, and after yeah, everything yeah, said and done, and everybody switch. Now around. switch, and then now everybody make a silly face, uh, and, and, it, and it, it ended up taking like 20 minutes, but if okay. it had not been for you doing that, so many memories would have been lost. Clayton makes it seem like he runs the, the marriage, but we all know that Mr. Ring caught on way faster and stuck around longer than any other nickname, so we know who's really Mr. Ring. Mr. Ring. <laughs> if she's hitting you, Clayton, just call me, dog. You can just call. You know what? Neither here nor there. We're not going to do this. I'm not going to let him answer. Just because I'm going to be hitting him. We cried. We danced. We gossiped. And we even managed to get a workout in thanks to you and CJ. I hated y'all for that. Like she's invited me to the Television Academy, the FYC, to see my ex-girlfriend, which was my favorite show. She's been there over the years to offer great relationship advice. And I'm not sure she knew that, but it's definitely something that I needed at a time. Um, and I always appreciate that. And I'll always be thankful for your kindness. Now I'm kind of getting emotional because knowing this amazing woman really does make me smile. And it's always a treat to see you out and to connect with you. Clayton, hook my girl up. Have a happy birthday, girl.
I've known her damn near 10 years. And uh, she's always been working. She's always doing something, always moving. And with that being said, almost every time she has something going on, she included me. She put money in my pocket every time. Um, once she found out that I was a shooter, I was a guy that, that was a cameraman, a DP and whatnot, she always made sure that I was uh, working with in some in some shape, form or fashion, um, whether it was her shit or whether it was somebody else's stuff. And um, I, I love you for that. I'm going to put you in something. We're going to work, man. We're going to do something. Cause you put me in shit, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna we gonna uh, take this shit to the moon and, and beyond. Love, rule. Like you are the woman, the jack of all trades. I remember just see like I'm hearing about you. Like oh, I'm going to do a bar mitzvah. Uh, I'm going to go host this. Oh, I'm gonna go wed somebody. Oh, I got a TV show. Me, and my, I, I'm getting like. It's like you're always doing something and it's just beautiful and you're doing everything that you love. And so I just want to say, man, you're the bomb.com. You like chocolatey, golden, tangerine goodness. That's what you is because you bear fruit. You you bring sunshine. You taste good. You know what I'm saying? I know the cookie. I know the cookie tastes good. Clayton, does it taste like tangerine juice? Does it? Yo, what up? That was like dramatic, right? She is the only person that I know since I've been in LA that does not call me Doughboy. She calls me Anthony. I think that was like as a mental kind of thing for me to remember to not let myself get too far gone. Back in the day when my weight had got up to about 460, 470 pounds. Yeah, it's a big dude. Tangerine used to always have a good word for me. She used to always tell me about Anthony, stop eating so many animal products. You want to stop eating sodium, different things like that. Like she knows, like she's like a plethora of good information for your mind, body, and spirit. And she's obviously drinking from the fountain of youth. I mean, Tangerine don't look a day over 23 and she's at least 24. It's been times in this industry where I've been down, feeling bad. And I have called you and despite it all, you have always lifted my spirits, answered my call and talked me through it. And I look at you as a sister, a friend and an OG in the industry. You are always positive, upbeat, and you always have a smile on your face and you're always trying to convince everybody to become vegan. But I'm gonna let you know right now, you're not gonna convince me to become vegan because I like meat on and off my plate. You literally ducked the dude's punch and socked him in the throat. I was like, wait, what? Happy birthday, dear Tangerine. The police showed up. I'm like, yo, let me get in the car because I'm a big black man. And you know how that shit's going right now. And you roundhouse kicked the cop and knocked him on top of the dude who throat you just punched. I said, what kind of Black Panther uh, protector, bodyguard training you've been going through that you have the skill set to disarm two grown ass men and one is law enforcement? Happy birthday to you. All of that shit is made up. But what's real is the love I got for you, girl. Oh, when we were the Fanta girls for New Year's in what, 2000? three or some craziness you were orange flavor of course and i was strawberry insistently you have been the light in every room you have been in and although i don't have a specific story or detail kind of like the maya angelou quote goes but i do always remember how you make me feel you showed up at fox at warner brothers really to support my fox tv show the ultimate tag the day before i literally you asked me like what is the color of your costume? I send you the picture. You can't share it with nobody anywhere. And you show up at Warner Brothers with my face on your shirt. And I was like, oh, the producers called me. It was a whole big thing. But you know what? That showed that you really fucking cared. You went out of your way to do something crazy, different, and you didn't really care what the consequences were. I could have been fired that day, but thank God I wasn't. You have inspired me in so many ways. You have pushed me. I love that you and CT gave me the name Booker T because that goes with my mission and brand. Girl, get fucked up. Make sure CT fucking like fuck you up. Like, okay, I hope I hope this doesn't go out live or anything because people don't need to know I have a vulgar mouth like this. But um, get you some dick and um, tear it up, tear it up, tear it up, tear it up. <laughs>
Uh, one of the most fun days I had on a commercial set was actually with you. Uh, I think it was Pop Secret or Jiffy Pop. I think it was Pop Secret uh, uh, popcorn commercial and you played uh, my girlfriend and we had mom, my mom's was the mom's from Family Matter and uh, we had a talking bag of popcorn that I had to act like was actually her voice. So it was cool. It was it was hella fun because we was, we was already, we had chemistry because we was already homies. So not only are you my good friend, you're also my commercial girlfriend for a day. And uh, you, you and Clayton are my couple's goal. So y'all got to stay together uh, forever. Pretty there, I said it. No, no pressure. Just just make it happen. You know, figure it out. I have, I have two kids now. I remember seeing you come into the pole studio and you was looking all luscious and brown with your big booty. Sorry, that's my gayness talking. You know, I'm gay these days too. <laughs> I uh, just remember always your kindness and how inviting you were and how you encouraged my poleness, my uh, sexiness and affirmed me in that space. And then performing for your birthday was one of the coolest moments ever. Congratulations on all your continued success and you looking beautiful and you rising in your shows and still like eating well and encouraging others to take care of themselves the way you take care of yourself. Since the moment I met you, you have been nothing but joy. You are always supportive. You show up for people. You're kind, you're friendly, you're sexy. I always tell you, you're my sexy alter ego. Um, so I'm happy to know you. Man, I appreciate you and um, them two babies that you carry on your shoulders. But uh, all jokes aside, I just want to say I'm so proud of you and your, all your quests that you're doing, your stand up, your acting, everything. You've been amazing. Um, keep going, baby. And, Enjoy your day. Your work ethic, your determination. When I first moved out here, every place I would go to try to like acquire knowledge or get like a little competitive advantage or whatever, you would already be there. I, one time I went to the Directors Guild to watch these directors talk about a film and talk about how they made it and all that stuff. Tanj was already there. You were in the front of the line. Uh, I decided to get my life right, start eating vegan, plant-based lifestyle. Terrence coming out of Veggie Grill when I'm walking. Hey, you should get the mac and cheese. You know, they got to get it. <laughs> Damn. I get nominated for an Emmy. Terrence got nominated for an Emmy. She already there. Like, yeah, hey, hey. You just changed the chemistry in the room. Uh, you're just a bright light. Whenever you're around, it's always going to be a good time. So positive, so encouraging. And if you ever want to teach my wife how to pole dance, please do. Something about you sparkles. When you walk into the room, the whole room lights up. It's your time. It's your year. You were a star from the first play you were in. And in my eyes, you will always be a star. I love you, mom. But there are two situations that happen that help create pretty much who I am. Both of those moments, to me, are complicated and difficult moments, but the first one showed me how much you meant to me. And the second one showed me how much I meant to you. And I know that I'm so fortunate to have you. And I'm so grateful that my big sis is also my best friend. I will have a day Tangerine. Tangerine, yeah. Say love you. Love you, Tandy. Happy birthday, Tandy. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday. Good job. Say love you. Love you, Tandy. Good job. Happy birthday, Tangerine. Hope you have a great day. We love you. We miss you. And you asked me what was wrong, and I just vented and word vomited. You happen to know the person that I needed to have a conversation with. You called, I don't know how many numbers, and they were disconnected. You went to their mama's house and left a note on the door. A day or two later, you're with the person that I needed to have a conversation with, and you bring him to the house, and we have that conversation. And that conversation has impacted my life and family so much. You, you, you know and you don't know my sister cousin uh my auntie cousin to my sons years ago when we were younger me my brother and tangerine had this massive bb gun fight 
with this gun and another one in the backyard and we were shooting each other all in the face and everything else luckily we all still have our eyes and all that good stuff love you Tanj um, I'm trying to think how old you are I have no idea you look 25 but only God knows your real age we went over to your house and then Tyler fell asleep early as always so we decided, oh, let's prank Tyler, me, you, and Caleb. And we put inspired whipped cream all over his face while I was sleeping. I think we did like the little feather thing where we like tickle his hand and he like does that. And anyways, long known to us, we didn't know the whipped cream was expired. And when we woke up in the morning, his eyes were all puffy and swollen and stuff like that. And that was just probably one of the best times I had of us just going over to your house, like on the little play dates we had or when we would go ice skating or whatever all the things we would do. That was probably the best time. Happy birthday. Now, I know that that didn't sound that great, but you're a part of the family, so you get to hear these wonderful vocals that I like to pull out whenever I feel like it. I love how kind and sweet and how much of a genuine spirit that you have. You gravitate people towards you. I'm forever grateful for what it is that you do for my family. Hi, fans. Thank you for making every trip to L.A. wonderful. Love you. Bye. Call you Sword, Sands, and definitely Mofo Sands. When you, Tangerine, consider someone a friend, you definitely put in the time required to maintain it. Whether it's, if it's an event you've been invited to and you can only stay for 10 minutes, you'll show up. Whether it's something that's all day, if you can make it, you'll show up. You'll, and I just, I, I love that about you. You haven't missed anything in over half of my life that has been special to me, special to my family. Thank you for showing me what sisterhood looks like and what being down is truly all about. First time I met you, I was like, damn, there's a black girl named Tangerine? That's interesting. And everything you had on was Tangerine Orange. Go figure. Your, your, your service, you're selfless, and uh, you always support and um, I appreciate you. You came and you talked at my students' um, career day. Like, who does that? Who, who drives up from LA to small town in Delano uh, to talk to kids about what it is that you do and what you do so well? You know what, you scared the crap out of me when we first met um, because of how stoic you are and how, how your, your presence in a room is powerful. You scared the crap out of me and uh, it was awesome. I am honored that you took the time to speak at my event because you impacted and inspired so many people with your stories and with your dedication and just sharing your journey. And that's what I see you as a person who is constantly inspiring the world, constantly impacting and influencing others in a positive manner, always having an extremely contagious attitude in terms of being positive stepping out and doing the things that you say you're going to do, showing and leading by example. My union to my partner, you facilitating and hosting that event um, made it, you always make it great. Whatever you do I, over the years, and I've known you for a really long time, everything I've ever seen you do has been great. You've put your all into it. You always put your all into it. And it's inspiring. And I, we, I know that I can count, we all know we can count on you to deliver, to push it up, to amplify whatever it is that you're trying to do. You, if there was a nickname for you, it would be amplifier. Because <laughs> Tanj amplifies things. If ever there has been anything that I've had going on, I've always known that I can count on you, I can reach out to you. I love you, sis. I'm thinking about some of the fun things that we've done together. How about joining Conscious Minds and becoming vegan together? That epic trip that we took to Sedona, Arizona. Um, when we shot the TV show Girlfriends together. And what about all those amazing Thanksgivings that you've hosted? Thank you for that. I just have memories of not being lonely at Thanksgiving or Christmas because you would throw at dinner in Burbank at your house and you'd have vegan food and I'm vegan and I'd always be able to come over there and eat some shit and meet your family and hang out with everyone. 
and meet other extended members of your family and meeting your dad and then come back the next day and get leftovers and just looking forward to coming through and just running through your buffet of food on Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I always want to thank you because you told me some time ago back when we did stand up in TGI Fridays before you were doing stand up that uh, I did this old Martin Luther King joke, which I probably very offensive, uh, but you told me it was one of the funniest jokes you ever heard. And we've been friends since. So I appreciate you and I love you. Thank you so much and happy birthday. Say bye. Say hi. Come on, man. Say something. <laughs> you gotta say something. <laughs> yeah, right. no. yeah. You are one of the first people that I actually can remember who introduced me to the power of mind over matter. Manifesting that shit. We used to have Sister Circle and we're right now our dreams and goals and and you're living it. And I'm inspired by it. Tangerine. Yes. Make it. I don't even know. Oh my goodness. This video should be done at night after bedtime. Remember how we used to catch each other up on everything we did that day? Every single thing. And we listen to each other's messages and then reply back <laughs> by sending another message that took like 30 minutes for us to listen to. I'm just proud of you. You, you look gorgeous. You got a great spirit high energy and you're just so loved okay here he comes bye hey <laughs> hey bye bye okay love you girl you really shown me uh coming from where i'm from that as a la native that y'all were true you know real ass motherfuckers you know what i mean like people said that people in hollywood were fake etc etc but you know i met your, your moms, I met your family, and everything. They always been solid and treated me nice. And I'm proud of y'all over there. All right, this is the universe right here. We tripping. Don't let this quarantine get you down. You already know what it do is Inglewood gang gang. You feel me? Enjoy your beautiful day. Pretty gal, chocolate gal, you dick. Turn up. She had this web series that was wildly hilarious. I think it was like the celibate nympho, something like that. But it was fantastic. And Tan, you were so supportive. You were so easy to work with. And you've been that to me ever since. Girl, keep doing you because we need you. All right. And one of them was being at your bedside in the hospital after that horrible, horrible night. The night that I thought I did lose you. And I brought you a sunflower and I I tried so hard to find the most beautiful flower I could find just to show you how grateful I was for you and how much how much joy I felt that I still had you. If I've done my job right at all, hopefully you have already been crying at some of the things that people have said to you and some surprises. As you see, a lot of people followed it and a lot of people did not. And for me, there are just so many different things to name. I'll take it from number one, I wouldn't even know how to navigate in this business. I wouldn't know the tricks of the trade, like getting people gifts and following up with people in a sense of trying to form a relationship and what can I do for you instead of what they can do for me. And I learned all of that from you. I learned the side to create the character of Clayton Thomas from you. Uh, I've learned a long list of things that I will not share all of this video, but I will also give you my favorite memory of you. And of course it's gonna seem crazy because you've given me 10 years of your life and we've shared so many memories. But my favorite memory <laughs> is when we went to Universal City Walk and I was being chased by like a zombie or something like that and I took off running and I left you and it's not so much as that I love you, but the how funny it was that and how you made me laugh once I came back to you. And I laughed so hard just off of your reaction to it. And <laughs> that's the, 
That makes me laugh to this day. Yeah, you make me laugh in the pits of my stomach. Uh, you're my wife, yes, but you are my best friend. You are my favorite person to spend time with on this planet. Um, I never get tired of you. You're hilarious, and I am just so in awe and in honor of being able to share a life with you. And thank you so much for your impact and everything that you have taught me and are continuing to teach me. Thank you for being there for me. Um, you are the greatest woman that has walked this planet. And I am in awe often because you never cease to amaze me. So happy birthday. I hope you enjoy this. And um, yeah. A lot of your friends ain't shit. I'm just, I just, I'm sorry. I'm probably tell you this in person as well, but oh my God, dealing with it. Okay, anyway, happy birthday. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I love you. They see beauty and sophistication step to the scene. People notice they can't help but say it. Tangerine. Tangerine. Hey.